So I decided to do a video on why I think a Falcon bass boat is better than any other bass boats out there. Here we go. Big. It's got the biggest deck in bass boats. My favorite part of the entire boat. Deck on this boat, 64 inches. Big deck. I don't know what else to tell you. Like Mystery tackle box storage. And it's just the perfect boat for me. I know you've seen, if you follow me on YouTube, you've probably seen some of my boat build videos. You've seen this particular boat made. If you haven't, I'll put a link in the description box so you can see this boat made and the last two Falcons that I've had. I do a boat build every year. And every one of them has been just a little bit different. I know you probably want to know if you were going to buy a Falcon, why you should buy a Falcon over other boats. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. I run a 20 foot boat. Every boat that I've owned pretty much for as a bass boat is concerned has been a 20 foot boat. This is the Falcon F20 Tournament Edition. The F20 Tournament Edition just has a few more add-ons. The console is a little different on the F20. You've got metal panels, a panel here, got an upgraded trailer as well. My seats are a little different on the Tournament Edition as well. Is I also have fiberglass line compartments. You also see I've got compartments on the deck. I mean, I've got compartments on the deck. You also see I've got lights on the deck. You see I actually have lights in the compartments. So that's what makes the Tournament Edition a little bit different than the regular 205. 205 is exactly 20 foot 5 inches long and it's just a perfect boat for me. I don't know what else to tell you. Like people always ask me, well, why don't you get the 21? I don't get the 21 because I like the 20. That's why I get the 20. Rise just as good, it's a little bit faster. I just like a 20 foot boat. I don't have a deep explanation for you why I like a 20 foot boat over a 21. I think the 20 looks a little bit better. It just it just fits me. It's just like why do you wear Nikes versus Reeboks? So what you came to this video was for to know the difference between a Falcon bass boat and what makes it unique versus all the other bass boats out there on the market. One thing for sure is we have the widest hole that you can buy in a bass boat. It has a 99 inch beam. This boat's wide. It's big, y'all. Like you can do whatever you want to on the deck of this boat. It's got the biggest deck in bass boats. The boat is wide. The boat is big and that makes it a lot different when you get on the deck of a falcon we're about to do that so let's let's just get on the deck of the falcon here's the deck i can i'm not even sure if i'm getting all of that in the screen here but the deck is stupid big i mean just stupid you know let's let's just measure it let's just measure it so you can compare it to all your other bass boats front to the top of the deck up there all the way back down to the end here is exactly 92 and a half inches now i'm going to measure right here about midways of the deck straight across not all the way at the back not all the way at the front we're going to go halfway between the front and the back of the deck right here which is basically right at the cleat to this cleat 76 inches you can see we got a big deck to work with plenty of room up there to do everything you need to do that's important because if you feel like you got more room you just fish better you, you don't feel like you're cramped you got room to move around on the deck to make those little particular casts that you want to make that's real important for me because in order to make the perfect cast you got to get i'll call it footwork is basically what it is you got to get in position you got to get your body in position to make the cast to pull off the fish catch so it's a lot more important than you probably think having a big deck is probably something i always want to have when i have in a bass boat and the f20 has got that now let's look at the beam at the console 99 inch beam is what we claim to have right so i'm going to measure it right here at the console and yes sir 99 inch beam rub rail the rub rail at the console so the second thing that i like about my falcon i think makes it a little different it kind of goes hand in hand with what we've already been talking about we talked about how big the deck is but the fact that the boat has a big deck and the fact that it has a 99 inch beam it means it has a lot of storage if you got a big boat you got a lot of storage look sometimes i go to tournaments and i don't have time to 
restock my boat. If we go to Florida and then turn right around and go to Smith Lake, or if we go to uh, New York and then we turn right back around and I have to go somewhere down south, I really don't have a lot of time to restock my boat. I can put everything that I need in this boat because it has a lot of storage and it has storage in the right places. One of the places that you need a lot of storage is is up front because that's where you keep all your tackle, that's where you keep all your rods, that's where you keep pretty much everything that you use to catch a bass is in the front half of your boat. Let's go through the front storage locker and I'll show you exactly how big this guy is. So this is where I met on tackle storage. I've got one, two, three, four. This is the new Plano edges that I have in my box. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven just in this, this right here, just this section. But what you can't really tell is it goes all the way to the back back there. I don't even have enough tackle to put in the entire boat right now, just in the tackle storage section. The tackle storage section goes basically from here at the console all the way to the front pedal here. So tackle storage doesn't stop until you get it right here. Right side rod locker. I've got his stock full of jackets, book bags. I've got rods, light poles. There's, I don't even know what all that stuff is. Garmin lids in here. Some juicy shad wraps in that box. Pop R's, that's a perfect example. That didn't even go together. I've got shad wraps and pop R's in the same, that don't even make sense. I don't even know why I got that in there. This can be a rod locker. This can be a junk drawer. This could be anything that you need it to be. Be all that you can be in a falcon. Um, no, that's not it. Rod locker. Here we go. Now, I don't have all my rods in here right now, but you could easily probably put about 40 rods in here with the, organizer, with the organizer in there. Now, obviously, if you use rod socks, you can put more rods in each hole, but that particular rod organizer has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 individual carriers for rods in there, but you can put two to three rods in each one. Storage. Storage, 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 storage. So yeah, if you're gonna have a bass boat and you're gonna travel the country or if you're just gonna fish weekend tournaments, room is gonna be important, you gotta have it. You gotta have storage, you gotta have a place to put your stuff, just makes life easier. You need to have, you need to have a place to put your stuff, you need a place to have to put your stuff that's dry. We got that, thumbs up Falcon, appreciate you. Ooh, All right. Last part that I'm going to show you that I think makes this boat pretty doggone incredible is this. Now this might seem a little petty, but dude, probably my favorite part of the entire boat is at the back of the boat. And I'm not talking about my engine. You know, usually at the back, this part of the boat is pretty hard to access to get to like the batteries. It's always stuck and it's, it's either too small or it's just, it's really hard to access your batteries. And you're always going to have to be back here working on stuff, right? Bilge pumps batteries power pole pumps whatever you got here in the back well check this out so i can lift lift one lid just like that right see and go to the other side let's walk right over here to the other side i can lift this side all right check out my miller tech batteries in there i'm running lithiums for the first time this year or check this out i can do all three at one time now you see this is actually where i store the cover for my entire bass boat, I still store right here in the bilge of my boat. Check out, check out how much room that I actually have in the bilge of my boat. It's huge. I can actually get in here and work on things. I'll show you. So if you watch my boat build video, you saw how I got in here before all the batteries and everything was here. And I actually could put my whole entire body in the bilge of my boat. But I have easy access to all of my pumps, all of my lines, my aerators, easy access to my power pole pumps. That's my power pole pumps just sitting right there. Have I ever have a problem? They're easy to access in or outside of the boat. 
my batteries, everything is super easy. There's a lot of room back here. This is an important part of your boat. This is where a lot of stuff goes down. This is the brains of your boat right here. No trolling motor batteries, no fishy. No starting batteries, no fishy. No power pole pumps, no stoppy. What's your favorite part of the boat? Mm. Got three seconds. I need the favorite part of the boat immediately, son. Is it? Nah, you don't even know anything about the batteries. So, Here's a few add-ons on my Falcon that I have that you probably should consider if you're looking to get a new boat. A six inch TH Marine hydraulic jack plate. And to protect the keel of my boat, I run a keel shield so when I need to put my boat on the bank, I don't worry, have to worry about scarring up the bottom of my hole. I also run dual power pole blades. My Falcon, I run four Garmin 126 SVs. I've got an upgraded trailer as well. If you're looking to get a new Falcon, check out Bucks Island. Bucks Island Marina in Southside Alabama. I'll leave a link in the description box where you guys can get in touch with them. So there's a couple things that I think about a Falcon bass boat that's pretty unique to all the other bass boats that are bobbling around on the water. You have to choose a lot of the other stuff on your own, but those are the things that I think really unique and it's the difference and it was ultimately the choice in me buying a Falcon over any other bass boat out there. So. Check them out. Check out the links in the description box. If you get a Falcon, I promise you're going to be satisfied with it and you're going to catch a lot more fish too.